Hello and welcome to all our parents and carers of all our students who are hoping to take their English language and English literature GCSEs this summer. We want to take this opportunity to reach out to you as we're all experiencing this and going through this together at this time. Hopefully by doing this we'll be able to offer you some reassurances for you that we're working really really hard to get the best success for your children at this time. As you know, decisions are still being made and consultations are still ongoing as to how the GCSEs are going to be awarded this summer. We still don't know exactly what's going to happen and that's why I think we need to work together to get everything as solid and as concrete in place as we can to make sure that we're prepared for every eventuality. We have to move forward now and expect that all the work that we are currently doing will be supportive and matter towards achieving success for our students in the summer. We are walk working towards building a concrete and valid picture of our students' successes in English and it is arguably the more important than ever right now to be working in a sustained effort in all your lessons and your weekly tasks. So how can we help each other? How can we move forward in English to help support your child? Well, keep engaging in your lessons every day. Every task that you do, think of it as revision. Think of it as adding to the bigger picture of your understanding. Your Monday mocks or your weekly writing tasks, do them. Hand them in. Get feedback for them. That will help you improve your writing. They're put together so that you're practicing the key skills as you would do in a broken down mini assessment. Week commencing 22nd of March may be our assessment week. We may do our HCSEs that we didn't do previously, and in which case you'll be sitting paper one for language GCSE or paper two for literature GCSE. Remember, there's no poetry this year in literature paper two. Paper two will just be Shakespeare and unseen poetry. How should you revise for these exams? practice and do the tasks that your teachers are setting you each week. I would like to invite all our Key Stage 4 students to see every mini assessment, every task as an opportunity to improve the skills that you've already got in place, as an opportunity to practice putting together these skills as you move forward to wherever you're going to end up, not just for your success at Haygrove, but for your future success in your future lives. You're all doing an amazing job. It's really difficult, isn't it, working in isolation. But just remember, ask for help if you need it. Check your understanding. Keep going and just do the best that you can. Thank you.